Good day, Travel Nursing World. Nikki here, and I just wanted to get on and share my condolences for the victims, the many types of victims that this Las Vegas tragedy has created. Not just the families that have lost their loved ones or the families that have hurt loved ones, the healthcare professionals and the EMTs, the police officers, the firefighters, everyone that had to jump in and help out in this tragedy are affected. So my love goes out to them from Wisconsin. Um, there are some things that you can do to help in this tragedy, no matter where you're at. And in any tragedy that happens, really, donate blood. There is so many lives that need our help that we have it pumping through our veins that we just have to be able to donate if you're capable. There's people that can't donate. And there's other ways for you to help out then, like volunteering. Contact your local community, your local hospital, and find out how you can set up to be a volunteer before these crises happen. Don't get me wrong, they need help now, but right now they are overwhelmed with what they're having to deal with, that they don't really have time probably or mental capacity to bring on volunteers at this very second that aren't already processed or trained. Send love. Andrew Craig did a fantastic video this morning talking about how he went and bought sympathy cards and he's gonna send those to the units at in the Vegas hospitals as well as across the country for all types of healthcare professionals. That's, a, that's something you can do. Send them pizza, send something to those units that are overwhelmed right now that you want to be able to nourish those nurses and those doctors that don't have time to think about how they're nourishing themselves and still maintaining mental capacity and wherewithal to deal with those patients that need them. Um, prepare yourselves. Travel nurses, this can happen anywhere and I know you know that. Ask during your orientations what kind of crisis, crisis protocols they have, if it's an internal hospital crisis or a community crisis that you're responding to as a healthcare professional. That way you can be prepared for the tasks that you play and the roles you have to play during those crisis, crisis protocol type times. Um, be aware of your surroundings. What happens whenever you're out at the mall or you're at the grocery store or something? Be aware of your surroundings. Don't just be in your own bubble. This can happen anywhere. And we all want to be aware and prepared. There's been too many crises over the last year alone to think that this can't happen to us. Some ways to share love. Smile. Smile at other people as you walk down the street. Say hello when you're in the grocery store. Instead of reading the tabloids while you're in line at the grocery store to check out, ask the person in front of you or in back of you about how their day is going, how, you know, what they have in their cart. Maybe you see there's something similar. Oh my gosh, you, go, you both like the caramel pecan almonds or something like that. Uh, chat with them. That might be the difference in that additional person having a fantastic day or just moping around and being in a depression mode. Reach out to other people. If you see someone struggling with something, ask them how you can help. Maybe you're not the right person that you have all the answers, but you could be a resource. Maybe you have a friend or you know of a company or you know of somebody else that could help that individual. Be a resource. Compliment others. Maybe there's something that you can do to brighten their day. If you notice that somebody's just looking sharp today, tell them. It might be the difference of them having a fantastic day or them coming out of an interview that they had because they were looking sharp and their interview didn't go so well, but maybe you're the one that's gonna brighten their day from that, day, from that moment forward. Um, smile. Smiles are contagious. We can change our community, whether it's big or small, we have the power to change things around us. We, we hold it and things change faster with light, with positivity. And the ripple effect is ginormous. You won't even know it. So spread love today and every day going forward. My love from Wisconsin goes out to the healthcare professionals that are working very diligently right now in Las Vegas and across the nation. Have a great day, Travel Nursing World.